and welcome to the podcast. We're all already at podcast number nine on the power of God, and I know what I'm going to be speaking on in the next series. It's going to be 10 weeks on the grace of God. You're not going to want to miss that either. But listen to these last two podcasts on the power of God as we have built and built and built each week to build it in you. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the Word of God. And today we're going to talk about a scripture that is going to like be a, a, from the book of Daniel that is talking to, you know, about believers who know their power. Okay, and that's you and me. You, you've heard about it. You can go back and listen to it. I've encouraged you to act upon it. So let's read the scripture, and then we're going to bring on this discussion about what does it mean for you, what does it mean for me personally. So Daniel, who's in captivity, uh, but he still lives his faith out. He doesn't put his light under a bushel basket for anybody. He'll open the window and pray, and, you know, he almost seems to provoke them. But the thing about it is that uh, he knows his God. So let's go ahead and read the scripture from the 11th chapter of Daniel in the 32nd verse. He says, those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. Boy, that's powerful. We could talk about that one, but we're moving on. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. I want to read the last part of that verse again. The people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Now, I don't know about you, but I know me. You know, my life in Christ is my everything. You know, when I got filled with the Holy Spirit and began to live for the Lord back in college, you know, almost 45, 50 years ago, I didn't have times of backsliding. I, I didn't. I mean, I got lukewarm a few times. I had to stir up the spirit inside of me. But I, I never wanted to leave the Lord. I love the Lord, and I've had some opposition and some people saying bad things about me. And I would just rejoice because a lot of times people have said good things about me. So it's good to have some say bad because it says if everyone speaks good of you, <laughs> there's a problem. So uh, I would say, Lord, you know, they're speaking all manner against me falsely, but I love them and forgive them. And I did and do. But it's because of this right here. They who know their God will be strong and do exploits. That is my mission statement. I know God. He makes me strong. And I want to be found doing exploits. I want an abundant entrance into heaven, it says in 2 Peter chapter 1. I, I want to be welcomed into Well done, thou good and faithful servant. When I was retiring, oh, people don't retire from the Lord. I wasn't retiring from the Lord. I don't know where they got that idea. I wasn't going into a new phase. And God wanted me to reach the, the next level of multitudes. And by his grace and wonderful privilege, I've had that opportunity through uh, the podcast and speaking engagements and movies. My m movie that I made forbidden, I looked on YouTube, 88,000 people have viewed it. And I'm telling you, I don't know all the other places they have, they could be viewing it in different ways, different streamings. But it, it's, it's wonderful because we do exploits. We do amazing works when we know our God. So number one, you've got to be acquainted with who your God really is, not who some people tell you who he is. God doesn't do mean and terrible things to his children. He might chasten us because he loves us, but he doesn't throw terrible things at us. I want you to know he's a good God. His mercy endures forever. His love is everlasting. I want you to know that his grace is amazing and it is sufficient for whatever your need might be, whatever he's called you. For every vision he's given you, he will provide. He is For the vision, he'll make provision. He'll supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That's the God I know. I'm the God I know is the God who heals. By his stripes, I was healed. I walk in divine health. His word is like medicine to me. And, and he took my infirmities and bore my sicknesses. And when I look at Jesus being scourged, especially in the passion of the Christ, and, you know, I, and, 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 and Mel Gibson didn't even do justice. I've seen other pictures where so much skin is ripped off his back, you can see his rib cage. I mean, he was mercifully, tr mercilessly treated so that by his stripes we were healed, healing that would last for 2,000 years or more, whatever the Lord is doing. I mean, he's a God that healeth us. He, he's almighty God. He's, he, he's our righteousness. 
You know, he's wisdom. He gives us wisdom. We have the mind of Christ. We we know the heavenly Father through him. He's a, the way to the Father God. I mean, this is an amazing guy. He's my best friend. And like I jokingly say to my wife, but I love saying it, is that, you know, I know the, the creator of the universe personally. She says, I know you've told me that. But I go in there and I sit with him and we fellowship together. My fellowship is with Jesus Christ. I want all this for you, by the way. If I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm doing it so that you will, will say, I want that too. Because when the judgment day comes and he says, well done, thou good and faithful servant, you know, enter into the, the, the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation or the, into the joy of the Lord. I, I, I live for that. I got to have that. I have to be found doing in his appearance. Therefore, we are living in perilous times. Be awake, sober, vigilant, you know, ready, dressed, clothed. You, you let there be oil in your lamp. You have got to be ready at the coming of the Lord. I didn't retire to go lay down and not be ready. I, and God has expanded my territory. His hand is upon me. It's gone well for me like Jabez. I pray that every day. I want you to want more. To those who have, more is given. It says, yes, those who have will be held to a greater account. But it does say that we will receive more. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Sorry, but that's how it works in the kingdom of God. He's not going to give something to somebody who's not going to use it. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. And that's why I want to operate in my giftings. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because I want to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And I want you to want that. And I want you to know it's available to you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to baptize this listening audience in the Holy Spirit and fire, refire them. Help them to stir up the gifts of God that are in them, that they will do exploits. They'll be amazed at how God uses them and doors of utterance open before them that no man can shut and that they'll walk through those doors and that there'll be door after door after door until they walk into that heavenly gate, into the new Jerusalem. That's what I want, and that's what I want for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, you, you can tell. I believe it. I'm trying to live it. I'm trying to get you to live it. Live it. Amen. So let's let's continue to grow this ministry that would expand my territory. And, you know, best advertise is word of mouth, advertisements. So speak about it. Talk about it. And uh, what a privilege it is to bring you this word of God. So thank you for listening. God bless you. And until next week, bye for now. On behalf of Frank Julian Ministries, we want to say thank you so much for listening. We upload podcasts every Thursday on Roku, YouTube, and audio podcasts, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you need prayers or are seeking a prayer community, we're here for you. Come join us on our Facebook page, Love, Prayers, and Healing Podcasts with Pastor Frank. See you next week.